What's up, my fellow Reefers, Fragbox TV, and today we're going to be talking about the secret to keeping one of my favorite corals, Acans. Okay, where do we begin? Acans. There are two types Acan lordowensis and Acan enchinata. So, this video is going to be all about Acan. Lord, which is this one right here, this type of Aiken. And they're easy to distinguish. These ones are quite, like, I would say puffy in appearance. They almost look like little donuts. And then Aiken Enchinata, it's more, it's got more of a smooth appearance. I'll throw a photo up here to show you guys the difference. So Aikens, they are, in my opinion, easy, great for beginners. It's a LPS coral. And personal favorite of mine, I really, really love these corals. They come in a lot of colors, virtually every color combination you can imagine red orange blue green purple combinations of those colors and they're found mostly um, well we can find them in vietnam also in indonesia but the nicest ones i think by far are the australian ones that's what we're looking at today here so we'll start with lighting so in terms of lighting they prefer lower they can get used to higher lighting we keep all of ours here under led lighting so these ones are being kept under the what do we have here? Radeon G4s, and then we have some under Hydras, but most of them under uh, low to moderate LED lighting. So par of about 150-ish. You can get them as high as 250. You can get some crazy colors out of them if you keep them under T5. But all the ones we have here are being kept under LED and the blue really makes the colors in them pop. So in terms of flow, they like low to moderate. This one's getting enough i can tell because the heads are open and puffy so moderate flow if they don't get enough flow they are going to get covered in uh, detritus and then you're going to find dead spots on them and if they get too much flow they're not going to be able to open all the way and the polyps are going to be retracted into the skeleton so nice thing about acans they can touch you can see here we have two acan lords touching and they're not going to sting each other. So because of that, you can make these really cool gardens. You can group different colors together. But keep in mind, this only works with Aiken Lord. If you try this with the other variety, the Aiken Enchinata, it is not going to be pretty. That Enchinata is going to kick the ass out of the Lord. It uh, has a very, very powerful sting. So just keep that in mind if you're going to make a garden. Here in Dylan's tank, this is the Innovative Marine Fusion 20. He's done a really nice job with Aikens. They love his tank here. And you can see touching, and he's just starting to build out a very nice Aiken garden over here to the left. Sorry, fishy, get out of the way. That one's really nice there in the back. So these will all kind of grow into one another, and they're not going to hurt each other. They'll get stung by other corals, so you see this hammer is getting sort of close here. Euphilia will sting them. And he's running these under, on one side, an AI Prime, and on the other side, an Aquanite under all blue, and they're really loving the light. I got to show you this one here, because this is pretty cool. Came from the wild like this. This is actually one or two of them fused together. So this will really show you, I guess, how compatible they are with one another. Like the actual skeletons, let me see if I can see when you touch them, they close up and they kind of retract right back into their skeleton there. And if you can see two different types of Acan fused into one solid colony. So you, it's really cool when stuff like that happens. In terms of water parameters, we always recommend the same thing. Keep your tank um, like natural seawater. So for us, we're keeping our calcium at 450. Our magnesium we keep elevated. I'll talk about that in a second. And our alkalinity around 8, 7.7. .7. Salinity around 1.026. But shoot for natural seawater. Um, nothing special for Acans there. I do find that with elevated mag, they just look puffier and happier. So we keep it a little bit higher in these systems. And they like the water, from my experience, a little dirtier. So whenever we've approached nitrate or phosphates of around zero or undetectable, we actually lose the acans. They can melt and the heads just turn to mush and bye-bye acans. So they definitely prefer dirtier water. So if you're looking to buy an acan, you go into a store, you're checking one out, what you want to look for before purchasing is one puffy head. So what that means is like this. You want to see them fat. So for example, if I piss this guy off over here, see how he starts to close. I'm really sorry, buddy. This is just for the video. This is for the reefers, for the tube. So that would be an example of not a very happy acan. This is an example of a very 
happy, meaty, fat. That's what I call them. They're, they're really chunky. So that's a good sign. And you never want to see skeleton. So let me show you, for example, one here that isn't doing terribly well. See this over on the right? This is not good. Don't ever buy one if you can see exposed skeleton like this. This guy may recover, but that's definitely not a healthy or happy acan. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I like to feed them. I got a little trick here. I use some frozen brine. I'm going to mix in some refroids and Vitalis LPS. All, any three of these on their own is great. You can do just this or just this. This is excellent. I really like this stuff. But I make this weird sort of frag box concoction. And the reason for the frozen brine, it's very cold. And I find that if you feed refroids, you try and spot feed it, it just floats away into the water. So because this is cold, the water wants to sink and it causes these two to drop into the head of the A-can. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna feed this guy right here. Just turn off the flow in your tank. It's like feeding any coral, really. And I try and get one to two pellets, uh, basically per mouth, but I don't know where these corals put it, because in like 10 minutes, this guy is gonna consume all this, and then he's ready to go again. I'm not, they're like, the pigs of corals, acans. You can feed them so much and don't be worried about overfeeding them because if it's too much, you're really just going to spit it out. Well, that thing's a little big. <laughs> oh, there's a lot there. It's kind of hard to feed and hold the camera. You can see the because it's cold because of that frozen brine, it has a tendency to want to sink. So it's kind of like my a little secret feeding tutorial. Give him about five minutes, I'll show you what he looks like once he starts to gobble it up. I'll go back to that a in a second, but just in terms, I wanna talk about fragging for a second. They are really easy to grow. They don't grow terribly fast, and they're quite easy to frag. So with a pair of bone cutters, you can just snap off pieces like this, and you don't really have to be worried about breaking a head in half because they're very resilient and they will recover. One other note on placing them, they're really easy to glue. So with any sort of coral glue or adhesive, you can stick them to the rock. You're not gonna hurt anything. There's no special way of gluing them. Just glue them on the bottom. And the way they grow, they calcify and create their own skeleton. So they're just gonna keep growing out and getting bigger and bigger. They don't plate or encrust like other LPS corals do. Oh, check him out now. He's very happy. He's eating his lunch for the day. So a couple of the heads, maybe too much food. It'll spit it out. It's not, it's not gonna hurt it by overfeeding it, but he looks really, really happy right now. And in like an hour, I'm telling you, this guy's gonna digest it and then just be open and ready to go all over again. Okay, I think that's it for today's video on Aiken Lordowensis. If you guys got any questions, as usual, you know, you can always hit us up. I'm gonna leave our contact info at the end of the video. We got lots of nice Aikens in stock right now. And let's do a giveaway. Gonna give away this nice sort of ultra e a can right here you have to be subscribed to the channel fragbox tv and then just comment below a video idea so i'm running out of ideas here give me an idea for the next one we're going to pick someone you got to be local you got to be here in canada we'll ship it to you or you can come pick it up from the store but just shoot out some video ideas we'll pick one and whoever we decide whichever video we decide to go with we're going to give you this free beautiful a can frag thanks for watching guys this is fragbox tv